Hey, you know how important it is to have an emergency fund? Well, you need one. Because <laughs> we got, uh, you know, especially when you know things are going to tear up. You have a car and house and whatever you got, computer, something that you have to buy to use. You need to have like an emergency fund to keep it up. But my last Wednesday, my wife come to get something from me at work and the car just, it's like the, um, it just died. She thought it was a power steering, but I was thinking, well, it's probably the battery died because the alternator was dead, but I wasn't sure. But when I popped the hood, the battery cable was really corroded. I was like, whoops. And then, so I gave her the credit card and she had, my truck was there, so we had to tow my my car to the wrecker. So I called today, finally got a hold of them, and they said, they left me a voicemail saying I could leave a text on their number. But um, when I left, I said, hey, does this number receive text? And I talked to them today, and they said, we thought that was spam, you know, or somebody trying to play a drug on us. I said, really? I said, nah, that was me. I was wondering if the number left text because it was a voicemail. So anyway, they did a real good job. I had to pick the car up. The price is $721.21. That's why I said you need an emergency fund, which, you know, I'm kind of lacking right now. So I'm going to have to put everything together to get it. But the cool thing is I had a, I bought a valve cover gasket. I was going to replace it myself. So I had the gasket in the house. So when they um, towed the car, after work, I just went over there and put the gasket in the floorboard and left them a note, you know, put this on, check the brakes, and I think the alternator or battery or something's bad. Sure enough, Beside doing the work, I could have diagnosed it. I could have been a service rider for my own car. Okay, that's, your, that's what it was. And it had a little bit more stuff. But um, I had a Toyota 2007, about 130,000 miles right now. And I bought it from a guy on uh, Facebook about a year and a half ago. But, um, you know, had... It needed all that work for $721. It needed an alternator. They charged the battery. They even fixed the the idle was running too low. And a lot of lights that were on the dash, like the Christmas tree, disappeared. And they said it was because my alternator was bad. So isn't that something? So I, I was trying to figure out how to get rid of some of them lights anyway. And all four of my brakes, they hadn't reached the rotors, but all the pads were bad. So I heard, I just heard it squeaking. So everything I said was bad, was bad. So that's pretty good. Cause I talked to the guy on Friday last week and he tried to call me, leave me a voicemail and we couldn't connect cause they were working on their cars and I have a brake. So I had like a few minutes to call them. And then when I go to lunch, they go to lunch. And when I get off work, they get off work. But um, they're real good. I've used them a couple times. They're Collins in Clearwater. And they do a good job. Um, I had a guy, if you look earlier in the videos, when the guy was cutting down my tree in the backyard uh, about a year and a half ago, He's the one that recommended the guy, the Collins in Clearwater. And also uh, another person's recommended him. So they come highly recommended. But that's that's why you need a little emergency fund if you can. You know, because you never know what's going to happen. But I got my car. Just got to go get it picked up. Back on the road again. So we're having two cars is where it's at. I don't want to have three cars because then you got to pay another hundred and something dollars a month for insurance and gas and just keep up two is probably enough. Hopefully both of them don't fall apart. But you know, 
Just wanted to share, get my car fixed. Woohoo! This is the, not the one that got hit in the parking lot, it's the other one. So stay cool, subscribe, and check this out. They are running power out here where I live. So we're turning into a metropolis. They're gonna run, they're supposed to be putting a pole I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah. Got it right there. They're gonna put a power pole and then they're gonna go underground. Somebody getting a new house or something down that road. We are developing out here. <laughs> Stay cool.